Hey you guys, so welcome to your first trig lesson. As you go through the video, um, please make sure you guys fill out these notes that I'm providing. However, remember that you're not expected to understand everything. These notes are there to serve a purpose, which is to um, get you exposed to the material, but then more importantly, to help you think of some questions you have, things that you don't understand. And when I go over the same material during class, I'm going to go through it much faster because you should have every, all the notes written down, but I'm going to focus on the questions that you guys may have and clear those up. And this will allow us to have extra time in class to work on homework. Okay, so our first section, section 1.1, is the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem applies to any right triangle. And the Pythagorean theorem is as follows. The, the sum of the squares of the two sides equals to the square of the hypotenuse. In other words, a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. a and b are the legs of a triangle, and c is the hypotenuse. Now, how do we know which are the legs? Well, take the right angle that's here. The two sides that make up the right angle are the legs. So this right angle is made up by the sides A and B. Therefore, A and B, these are the legs. And C is the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is always going to be across from the right angle. So for example, do the sides 5, 12, and 13 make up the sides of a right triangle? Well, any right triangle fits the Pythagorean theorem. So for any right triangle, a squared plus b squared must equal to c squared. Well, how do we know what a, b, and c are? Well, a and b don't really matter because you're adding, and if you add two plus three, that's equal to five. If you add three plus two, that is also equal to five. So a and b don't matter because we're going to be adding them anyway. The main thing we have to be concerned with is c, and c is always going to be the longest side. Whatever the longest side is, that's always going to be C. The hypotenuse will always be the longest side. So in this case, A is equal to 5, B is equal to 12. Uh, and again, I can interchange those, but C has to be 13. Now, if this was a right triangle, then A squared plus B squared would equal to C squared. So let's plug these in. A is 5, so we have 5 squared. B is 12, we have 12 squared, and C is 13, so we have... 13 squared. So we're going to get 25 plus 144, and we want to check, does that equal to 169? If you add these up, we do get 169 equals to 169, and since that is a true statement, yes, these are the sides of a right triangle. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, in this case, you want to find the missing side. So I'll label this side A, uh, I'll label this side B, and the hypotenuse is always going to be C. Remember, the two sides that make up the right angle, those are your legs. And the side across from the right angle, that is your hypotenuse. So we know that in any right triangle, A squared plus B squared has to equal to C squared. Now, A is missing. We don't know what A is, so I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. B is 12, so this is going to give us 12 squared. And C is 15, this will give you 15 squared. So if we keep solving this, we got A squared plus 144. Um, 15 squared is 225. Remember, any square is when you multiply that number by itself. If I subtract 144 from each side, this is going to give me A squared is equal to 81. Now, remember that when you square root a variable, you always get a plus or minus. And the reason for that is because 9 squared equals to 81, but then negative 9 squared also equals to 81. So A can either be positive or negative 9. However, in our case, because A represents a length and length can't be negative, A will simply equal to 9 centimeters. Okay, this next example we will do in class.
Now we're going to talk about distance between two points. So we want to find out what is the distance between the two points, negative 2, 5, and 1, 1. So first, let me plot both of these points. Our first point is negative 2, 5. And our second point is 1, 1. And we want to find out what is the distance between these two points. Well, if I want to find the distance, uh, I have a couple of choices. One is I can get, get out a ruler and measure it. However, that won't be exact. And how do we know that um, our coordinate plane is aligned with the measurement of the ruler, right? So we, we can't really do that. So what else can we do? Well, we can make this into a right triangle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my, so this point is negative 2, 5, and this point is 1, 1. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to form a right triangle using these two points. Now here's how that helps me. I can count the length of this horizontal side. That's one, two, three units. I can count the length of the vertical side. That's one, two, three, four units. And the distance is going to be the missing value, which is C, that is our hypotenuse. So I can say that A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. So this is 16 plus 9 equals to c squared. We get 25 equals to c squared. And if you square root both sides, remember that we get plus or minus 5. How, however, uh, length can only be positive, so c equals to 5 units. So the distance between these two points is exactly 5 units. And we can get this using the Pythagorean theorem. But before we can use the Pythagorean theorem, we have to form a right triangle using these two points. Now, let's think of another way of this. If I want to find the horizontal distance, okay, think about what's happening. This value here is negative 2, and this value here is positive 1. So I'm going from our, my x value of negative 2 to my x value of positive 1. To find the distance between any two values, I can just take value number 1, or in this case, I'm taking value number 2 minus value number 1. But this applies for any two, any two uh, points. If I want to find the distance between two points, I simply subtract them. So if I subtract 1 minus, so x2 is 1, and x1 is negative 2, if I subtract 1 minus negative 2, that's 1 plus 2, which is 3. And same thing for the y's. If I want to find the, dist the vertical distance between the two y's, if I want to find out the vertical distance between 5 and 1, all I have to do is I have to take y2 minus y1, which is going to be 1 minus 5. Okay, and that's negative 4. But distance is going to be positive, so we're going to say this is positive 4. What if I did it backwards? What if instead of x2 minus x1, I did x1 minus x2? It doesn't matter. We get the same result. If I did y1 minus y2, I get the exact same result. I get 3 and 4 as my distances. So we're going to use this to, to find the distance formula between two points x1, y1, and x2, y2. So it doesn't matter what the two points are. I'm just going to make up my first point as x1, y1 and my second point is x2, y2, but again, it doesn't matter what these points are because we're going to come up with a generic formula. So that red distance is what I want to find. All right, so let's first make a right triangle. The vertical distance is going to be the difference between the two y values. So this is going to be, I can do y2 minus y1 or y1 minus y2. I'm going to write y1 minus y2 as the vertical distance. The horizontal distance is going to be x1 minus x2. Okay, so now according, and then this is my, my distance, which, which I'm going to call d. Now, according to the Pythagorean theorem, we know that a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. So my a squared is going to be x1 minus x2 squared. 
my b squared is going to be y1 minus y2 squared and my c squared is going to be d squared but i want to get the distance by itself i don't want to square the distance so if i square root both sides then i get the distance between any two points is given by the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared and this is the distance formula. This will help us get the distance between any two points as long as you label these points properly. Okay, so we want to find the distance between the points negative 32, 27 and negative 37, 39 using the distance formula. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label these. So my initial, my my first point is negative 32, 27. And because it's my first point, I'm going to label this as x1, y1. And my second point is negative 37, 39. I'm going to label this as x2, y2. Now the distance formula is as follows. Distance is equal to the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. So the, the benefit of labeling everything is now we can just start plugging things in. So my x1 is negative 32 minus x2 is negative 37, and I square that. Note that there is one negative because of the formula and one negative because the actual x2 is also negative. Then we have y1, which is 27, minus y2, which is 39, and then we're going to square that as well. Okay, if I keep going, I have negative 32, the two negatives back to back, they turn into a positive. So this is actually going to give us negative 32 uh, plus 37. So we have negative 32 plus 37, which is going to be 5 squared. 27 minus 39, that is going to be negative 12 squared. And if I keep this going, 5 squared is 25. Negative 12 squared is 144, which gives me square root of 169, put this in a calculator, and we get 13 units as our answer. So the distance between these two points is going to be 13 units. Okay, next example, uh, let's first label these points. This first point is going to be 5 comma negative 4, and this point here is going to be the point negative 2 comma positive 5. And in this example, we will do it in class.